Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I am going to talk about the interview questions, fundamental interview questions from electrical and electronics section. I am not going to categorize it as electrical or electronics. So I have chosen about say about 25 questions from both of them together. So uh, it is just a mix of electrical and electronic questions and it will be 25 questions on the whole. So I'll need about two sessions to complete uh, this entire topic and all these questions are uh, very basic and I'll give you the answer for the questions that I have identified. Let's start with the questions right away. Define choke. What is a choke is the question. Choke is an inductor and it is used to, to block the high frequency AC which is nothing but alternating current in an electrical circuit while it should also pass the low frequency or direct current. This is the definition. Choke is an inductor that is always used to block the high frequency AC while it is permitting uh, the lower frequency or DC. It also creates the high voltage which is needed for the ionization of the gas which, which serves as the fundamental working principle behind the tube light and the functioning of the uh, and the glowing of the tube light. So the choke is a very simple inductor is the point that you need to understand. What is a damping system? In any measurement instrument, any measuring instrument, the deflecting torque and controlling torque will always be moving in opposite direction. There are two terms that I introduce here. One is deflecting torque, another one is controlling torque. At any point in time, this will be moving in the opposite direction. So this will certainly make the uh, life of the pointer very difficult because it cannot settle down at rest. Uh, since both of these um, are both of these torque, the deflecting torque and the controlling torque are moving the opposite direction, it will not let the pointer set at rest so easily. So to bring the pointer to rest, the damping torque is given to the system, and this damping torque is always proportional to the velocity of the moving system, and this is called as damping system. The damping torque which is given to make sure that you bring back the pointer to rest can be referred as the damping system. It's a very important question. So please pay attention for this question. Why do we need a starter on the tube light? Very simple. Again, a starter is a capacitor which has got some energy stored inside. Let's understand the point. A starter is nothing but a capacitor which has got some energy stored inside. When the tube light is powered, the starter supplies a very high spark of current discharge which ionizes the gas inside the tube light to make the fluorescence effect for glowing the tube light in a very limited time. We don't like the tube light flickering. It has to start as soon as possible and that's what your starter helps in. What is the sequential logic circuit? Simple. In some circuit, they totally depend on the present state of the input. Whatever I give the input, I'll depend on that input only and I do not have to worry about anything else. In some other circuits, it is also going to be dependent on the previous output, the previous state uh, output. So such systems are referred as sequential logic circuits. When I depend not only on the current but also on the past, I call it sequential logic circuit. What is a flip-flop? A flip-flop is the one that helps in storing the past output of the system in a sequential logic circuit. So the definition of the previous question is very well connected to this question and most important point, flip-flop can be referred as a simple memory element. So it can store some information. But there is a point that you need to understand as well. Flip-flop cannot store information when there is no power. As long as you power it, you have information stored in it. Registers are all made through flip-flops. And if you say you have a 8-bit register, it means that you have got 8 flip-flops connected inside to get the register functionally built. I have shown just a D flip-flop here in this picture. That's just a reference. What is a latch? How is it different from a flip-flop? Latch is also like a flip-flop. Let's understand that. This is a very important interview question. A latch is also like a flip-flop, which is based on the past input state to give the current output. In the flip-flop, we have something called as clock pulses. So whenever there is a change in the clock pulse, it changes the output accordingly. But when you come to latch, it just checks the input and changes the output whenever there is a change in input. There is no clock pulse required in there is no clock pulse required in the latch. So there is no clock in the latch is the fundamental difference that you need to understand. So we will tell that the latch is level triggered whereas the flip flop is 
edge trigger example for the flip flop based systems are registers counters example for the latch based systems are multiplexers it is the simplest of example that i can cite right away with you now which logic gates are referred as universal gates nand and nor simple question but a very important question you can build any gate from nand and nor and that's why we call it universal gates a next question what is a magnitude comparator the magnitude comparator is a combinational circuit that will compare two numbers and it will determine their relative magnitude simple a less than b a greater than b a equal to b etc etc can be called as the magnitude comparator can be related to the magnitude comparator what is a v o meter a is a meter v is volt meter o is ohm meter and this combination is called as a v o meter a meter will measure current volt meter will measure voltage ohm meter will measure the resistance that's it what is a megger this question is an important question this is commonly asked actually what is a megger megger is an instrument used for the measurement of resistance in the order of kilo or mega ohms that's it so i covered about 10 questions which are very fundamental for fundamental electronics and electrical i'll come back to you with the next set of questions shortly which may be about 15 questions and there also we'll discuss the fundamentals again if you like this channel please subscribe you can give like and most importantly if you have any specific questions you can post it across i'll be able to answer it when i have time thank you very much